Hey folks, Jim Dufault here for New Calgon with another micro training class. So today we're going to go over the uh, New Calgon Complete Care Mini Split Cleaning Kit, which you see here in front of me. Uh, but as a bonus, I'm actually going to use this kit. I have a mini split set up downstairs. So after I go through the products, we'll go downstairs and I'll take you step by step through the mini split cleaning process. So what's inside the bucket? Well, you're going to get two cans of our TriPower HD Coil Cleaner. Now this is a phenomenal coil cleaner. So it's got uh, great detergency, degreaser. Uh, deodorizer as well. It's safe on micro channel coils, so you can use it on, uh, you know, condenser coils, evaporator coils, and of course, mini split coils, which is what we're going to do today with this. We'll get that set up downstairs for you. You're going to get our, our heavy duty maintenance bag. This is our Clean Guard mini split maintenance bag. This gets draped around the head of the mini split. It has a drain line, which will come back down into this uh, into this bucket. It's eight feet, so if you've got a mini split, uh, that that's pretty pretty high up on, on the wall in a room or an office or something like that. You've got eight feet of drain line that can go into this uh, into this bag. If, if most of the mini splits you're cleaning aren't like that, you can just simply cut it with a pair of scissors. So, and then finally, uh, you're gonna get four of our gel tab minis. Uh, these are tremendous to uh, just pop one of those down inside the, uh, the condensate drain line in the pan itself. This is gonna help keep that drain line nice and clean for up to three months. You'll get four of those. So with the two cans of coil cleaner and the, and the four uh, uh, gel tab minis, uh, you can see you're going to be able to clean four mini splits with this kit uh, right out of the gate. So that pretty much covers the uh, the Complete Care mini split kit itself, what you're going to get in, inside the bucket. Now let's go ahead downstairs and I'll take you step by step through how to use this kit uh, in cleaning a mini split. Okay, so now we're down here in the garage. I've got my mini split ready to go. I've already gone ahead and I've cut power off to the unit. And then I went ahead and I took off the cover to the unit and then the small louver that was down below. Uh, the next step is I'm going to go ahead and take out my clean guard maintenance bag and I'm going to go ahead and drape that around the mini split unit itself. And as you can see, I've got a bucket already set up. Now I did put it on a table just for videotape purposes. Uh, normally in this type of a situation, I'd go ahead and I just leave it on the floor and let that drain line go all the way down. Okay, draping the bag is actually, it's pretty simple. You're just simply going to want to go ahead and drape it over the top of the, uh, of the mini split itself. There's a little black cord. You can just follow that around the edges. And then once you get to the bottom of it, just simply uh, click the, uh, the drawstring. Now, as far as prep time goes, once you have the bag on, you're pretty much ready to go. Now, ideally you want to do this when the unit is being used because you want some type of condensation on this initially, and that's just going to help the coil cleaner do its job. And so the other thing you want to make sure of when you're spraying the coil cleaner, I like to obviously start from top to bottom, and you want to make sure that you try to avoid all the electronics and wires and everything off to the, to the right side of the unit itself. Other than that, you want to make sure that uh, you've shaken the can of coil cleaner really well. You want to make sure you have gloves and eye protection. Now, as you can see, this has done a really good job of foaming up. We're going to want to leave this on for five to eight minutes or so and let it continue to clean the coil. And the high pressure in that aerosol has basically uh, gone through the coil itself, helped push dirt and debris out the back. And then that expanding foam is also going to help to continue to do that. Now, uh, once that's uh, been set on there for five to eight minutes, uh, we're going to want to go ahead and turn the unit back on. Now, remember, we want to try to use the, the natural condensing um, you know, part of the, of the coil itself to rinse. So this uh, TriPower HD, when it's applied, we're treating this like it's a no rinse formula. So we'll go ahead and apply it on, let it sit, do its job. And then we would normally go ahead and turn the unit back on and uh, close this bag up and uh, allow natural condensation off the coil to rinse it uh, down into the, uh, to the drain itself. So you're not going to want to do anything with the drain or the drain pan or the drain line itself because we want the TriPower to go ahead and get into the pan and then down the drain so that it helps treat the drain pan and the line uh, as well. Okay, now while that's working in that five to, to eight minutes, if you wanna get the blower wheel, a great way to do that is with our turbo tank, which I have here. Holds four and a half gallons of water. It is battery powered and rechargeable. Uh, comes with uh, two spray nozzles, and then it also comes with a, uh, with a nine inch wand here that you can see that I've got it set up. So this is perfect to get in up up inside the blower wheel housing to go ahead and rinse all of that out. And of course, if you want to go ahead and uh, use this to rinse the coil as well as using the, the natural condensation of the unit when it's running, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Uh, again, this is just going to wash everything down and through. So, All right. Well, that's pretty much it. So. You know, once you've uh, allowed the, uh, the coil cleaner to do its job and uh, you've run the unit, allowed it to condense to go ahead and, 
and uh, rinse off that coil and, and rinse that drain pan and the drain line, there's really only one last thing to do, and that's to go ahead and put one of these mini, uh, one of these mini tabs, gel tabs inside the drain pan itself. That's gonna, again, for three months, help that drain pan and help that drain line stay nice and clean. So that's it. That's the, uh, that's the Complete Care Mini Split Cleaning Kit from New Calgon. Now, if you'd like more information, uh, of course, you can always reach out to your territory manager from New Calgon, and of course, you can always reach out to New Calgon directly at info at newcalgon.com. Well, I know this is a little longer than normal, but I hope you did find it helpful uh, going through some of the steps in cleaning a mini split. I'm Jim Dufault for New Calgon. Thanks for watching.